Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. In this video, you will learn how to create a modal using Tailwind CSS and Angular 18. Before getting started, let's see the demo. If you click on the button, a modal with a close SVG icon and a close button will open. The modal will close when you click on this SVG icon as well as when you click on the close button. We will also implement functionality to close the modal when you click outside of it. If you click outside the modal it will close. Go to the directory where you want to install your project. Before proceeding, make sure that you have installed Node.js version 18.9.1 or newer, as Angular 18 requires a minimum version of Node.js 18.9.1. Click here and type cmd to open command prompt. Type the command ng space new space your project name and press enter. Here we need to select stylesheet format, CSS is already selected so just press enter. Now for server side rendering, type n and press enter. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. The download has been completed. Now, type cd your project name to navigate to the project directory. Open your project in Visual Studio Code. Open package.json file. Here you will see that the Angular version is 18.1.0. Let's run our Angular app. Click here and open a new terminal. Now, click here and select command prompt to open command prompt. Type the command ng serve to run our app. Go to your browser and navigate to localhost colon 4200 and you will see Angular 18 page. Now, let's install Tailwind CSS. In Google, type Tailwind CSS and press enter. Click on the framework guides link. Now click on Angular. First, we need to install Tailwind CSS via npm and then generate a tailwind.config.js file using the init command. Copy this command. Click here and select command prompt to open a new command prompt. Paste the command which you have copied and press enter. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. The download is complete. Now we need to generate tailwind.config.js file. Copy this command. Paste the copied command and press enter to generate the tailwind.config.js file. You can see that the tailwind.config.js file is generated. Now, we need to add the paths to all the template files in the tailwind.config.js file. Copy this highlighted code. Replace this code with the copied code. Now we need to add Tailwind directives in styles.css file. Click here to copy the code. Open styles.css file which is inside src folder. Paste the code which you have copied. Now we can use Tailwind CSS utility classes. Click here to copy the code. Open app.component.html file, which is inside app folder. Remove this code and paste the code which you have copied. Let's add text green 500 to this h1 tag. Now we need to restart our server. Open the command prompt in which the server is running. Press Ctrl plus C to stop the server and restart the server using ng serve command. Now, go to your browser and you will see that Tailwind CSS classes have been applied. Let's create a modal using Tailwind CSS. We will create a modal component. Click here to open this command prompt. In your terminal, type the command ng g c modal and press enter.
modal component HTML, spec.ts, ts and CSS files have been generated. Open app.component.ts file and add modal component in the imports array and import modal component. Now open app.component.html file, remove this code and add app modal selector. Go to your browser and you will see modal works text. Now, let's start designing the modal using Tailwind CSS. Open modal.component.html file. Remove the text modal works. Add a div element with the classes, container, MX Auto, P4. Now we will add a button with the classes BG, Blue, 500, Dark BG, Slate, 900, Text White, PX, 4, PY, 2, Rounded, and set open modal as the button text. This button will be used to open the modal. Go to your browser and you will see the button. Now, let's design the modal. Add a div element with the classes, fixed, inset, 0, bg, gray, 800, bg, opacity, 75, flex, justify center, item center. This will create a modal overlay. Inside this div element, add another div element. Add the classes, bg white, dark bg gray 900, dark text, gray 100, p8, rounded lg, shadow lg, max wmd, w full, relative. Now add an h2 tag with the classes text, 2xl, fontbold, mb4, and set the text to modal title. Next, add a p tag with the class mb6 and set the text to this is a simple modal using Tailwind CSS and Angular signals. Now, add a button for the SVG icon. Add the classes, absolute, top, 2, right, 2, text gray 600, hover text gray 900. We will add the SVG icon inside this button. Go to your browser and you will see the modal. The modal is currently displaying at full width, we will change it to medium width. But before that, let's add the SVG icon. In Google, type hero icons and press enter. Click on this link. Scroll down. We will use this SVG. Copy the SVG code. Paste the SVG code here. Add text gray 600 in the SVG class. Here, replace W full with WMD. Go to your browser, and you'll see that the modal is now displaying with a medium width and includes the SVG icon. Now let's add the close button. Add a button element. Add the classes, BG red 500, text white, PX a 4, PY 2, rounded and set the text to close. Go to your browser, and you will now see the close button in the modal. Now, let's add functionality to open the modal when clicking the Open Modal button, and close it when clicking either the Close SVG icon or the Close button. Open modal.component.ts file. First, we will implement this functionality without using Signal. Define a property is modal open and set its initial value to false. Now, create a method called OpenModal that sets isModal open to true, which will open the modal.
Similarly, create a method called closeModal that sets isModal open to false, which will close the modal. Now, we will add click event bindings for both of these methods in the modal.component.html file to open and close the modal. Open modal.component.html file. In the open modal button, we need to bind the click event to the open modal method. Now, add the ng class directive to this div element. This will dynamically apply the block class when isModalOpen is true, making the modal visible, and the hidden class when isModalOpen is false, hiding the modal. You will see an error, can't bind to ng class, since it isn't a known property of div. To fix this, open modal.component.ts file, add ng class in imports array and import it. You can see that the error is now gone. Now, in this button for SVG icon, bind the click event to the close modal method. Finally, in this close button as well, bind the click event to the close modal method. Go to your browser. Click on the open modal button and the modal will be opened. Click on the close SVG icon and the modal will be closed. Now click on the close button, and the modal will close as well. Now we need to add the functionality to close the modal when we click outside of it. Open modal.component.ts file. Create a method called close modal on outside click, and inside the parentheses, pass a parameter called event, which is of type mouse event. Create a constant variable target element and set its value to event.target as HTML element to get the HTML element that was clicked and assign it to the target element variable. Next, check if the target element has a class of fixed using classList.contains, fixed. If it does, call the closeModal method to close the modal. Open modal.component.html file. In the modal overlay div, bind the close modal on outside click method to the click event and pass the event object as an argument. Go to your browser and click on the open modal button to open the modal. Click outside the modal and the modal will close. Click on the close button and the modal will close as well. Clicking on the SVG icon will also close the modal. Now, let's see how to use Angular signals to open and close the modal. Open modal.component.ts file. Comment out this code. Create a signal named isModalOpen and set its initial value to false, indicating that the modal is closed by default. Also, make sure to import signal from at Angular slash core. Define the open modal method, which sets the ismodal open signal to true, thereby opening the modal. Next, define the close modal method, which sets the ismodal open signal to false, thereby closing the modal. Open modal.component.html file. Here we need to add parentheses to ismodal open as it is now a signal. This indicates that ismodalOpen is a signal and must be called as a function to get its current value. Go to your browser, click on the open modal button, and the modal will open. Click outside the modal and it will close. Click on the close button and it will close as well. Clicking on the SVG icon will also close the modal. In this video, we learned how to create a modal using Tailwind CSS and how to open and close the modal using signals, as well as without signals. We also covered how to close the modal by clicking outside of it. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.